Since the eruptive phase in the sourcing volcanic uh, system has ceased um, and we are not seeing any surface uh, activity other than what is, you know, due to the meteoric, that means the water, rainwater activity evaporating from the hot lava field, we don't see much activity on the ground. System has changed in that sense, but we don't see it. What we are talking about is the land rise due to the system being closed. That means there is no exit of the magma from the reservoir, but there is entry to the reservoir from the source, deeper source uh, uh, within the earth crust and from the mantle. You can see it, the land rise continuing with a steeper slope, but the general flow of the magma into this system when it is closed and there is no exit of this uh, uh, from this system, is generally the same. Four to six cubic meters of magma per second is entering the system. Nothing goes out at the moment. From the January up to now, every time after the eruptive phases, the system had the same inflow of the magma. When the system was open, that's a different story. It, it, it is what you will see at the surface. But we know that the new phase of the eruption will begin very shortly. This is LD. We had the earthquake all the time when we have the, uh, this uh, area have experiencing earthquake. That means the uh, movements of the plates have started. Earthquakes, tremors take over and they are transferred to the uh, Reckoness Peninsula. And from there, they gradually move upward. The Reckoness system, uh, Reckoness area, I should say, Reckoness Peninsula, is the beginning point of it, and it just moves towards the north. At the moment, we are seeing eruption in those areas every now and then, but then that will change when this system uh, is get, uh, you know, uh, relieved from the stress and the stress moves to the north side. Uh, this is practically what the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office is saying. I'm putting the data onto you also a lot more than what they are saying and I put, you at, uh, put forward a lot of the uh, background data. For example, Blue Lagoon is not sustainable. The level of the lava in that area has risen a lot. Any lava flow will go on top of it and from a top Higher ground has to flow down. It will be difficult to control it or predict it. It will be like meandering river and it can go any direction. It's difficult to sustain this situation when we don't have the, you know, the data and the future of the lava flows.